call to boycott the Beijing Winter Olympics is getting louder. Eurasia Group analysts say many Western governments and firms are facing mounting pressure from human rights advocates and political critics of China to boycott the Beijing 2022 Winter Olympics. Last month, the governments of Canada, the UK and the US issued a joint statement accusing the Chinese government of inflicting an extensive program of repression on the Uyghur people, including detention camps, forced labor and forced sterilizations. China has repeatedly denied these allegations of forced labor and other abuse in Xinjiang. If a boycott happens, what shape could it take? Number one, diplomatic boycott. According to the Eurasia Group, the most likely scenario could be a diplomatic boycott with the US joining other Western governments in a so-called diplomatic boycott. Now this means downgrading or not sending government representatives to the Olympics and taking other high-profile steps to deny Beijing the limelight as a host. Likely participants in a diplomatic boycott could be the US, UK, Canada and Australia. It is, however, highly unlikely that America's Asian partners, which have more complex dynamics or economic relations with China, like Japan, India and South Korea, might walk the same path and join the boycott. Number two, athletic boycott. Western countries could stop their athletes from participating in the games. The possibility of such a boycott is very low. An athletic boycott and economic boycott are harder for audiences to ignore as this means the banning of US spectators, broadcasters and sponsors. This would compel even harsher retaliation from Beijing, possibly involving a diplomatic freeze. Number three, boycott light. This means that there will be mild political statements about the games between the West and China, but no formal boycott. But that said, this is the least possible scenario on the table. But any kind of boycott will not go down well with China. According to the Eurasia Group, China will punish countries that boycott the games with political sanctions and commercial retaliation, and with greater severity in the athletic boycott scenario. History of Olympic boycotts. The Olympics has often been treated as a ground to play out global politics. 1956, Melbourne Olympics. Egypt, Iraq and Lebanon did not participate due to the Suez Crisis. Spain, Netherlands, Switzerland and Cambodia boycotted the Games because of the Soviet Union's participation. China boycotted the Games as Taiwan was allowed to compete and only returned to active competition in 1980. 1964, Tokyo Olympics. North Korea, China and Indonesia boycotted the Games after the International Olympic Committee refused to allow athletes who competed in the rival games of the new emerging forces in Jakarta the year before. 1976, Montreal Olympics. 29 countries, mainly African, boycotted the games after the IOC refused to ban New Zealand, whose rugby team had toured apartheid South Africa that year. 1980, Lake Placid Olympics. Taiwan boycotted the Winter Games after the IOC recognized the People's Republic of China as China and asked Taiwan to compete under the name Chinese Taipei. 1980 Moscow Olympics. 66 countries led by the United States boycotted the Games due to the Soviet Union's invasion of Afghanistan, although some athletes participated under the Olympic flag. 1984 Los Angeles Olympics. 14 countries, including the Soviet Union, East Germany and its allies boycotted the Games in response to the American-led boycott in 1980. 1988 Seoul Olympics North Korea boycotted the Olympics because of its conflict with the South. Cuba followed suit and boycotted, showing support to Pyongyang. 